shopping is a popular way to spend your time, not to mention your money. And when you're shopping, it's not usually difficult to see what things are made of. But what stuff are we made of? To see that, you'd have to look a lot, lot closer than this. This looks at cells, the microscopic building blocks that we are all made of. And how cells group together to form tissues. And how a collection of tissues work together as an organ in both animals and plants. Every living thing is made up of millions of cells, all too tiny to be seen unless using a microscope. The human body is made up of about 10 trillion cells, divided into about 200 different types, bone cells, skin cells, brain cells, muscle cells. Plants are made of cells too. These are cells in a leaf. Every single part of the plant is made up of different types of cells. The leaves, stem, roots, flowers and so on. A cell is an amazing thing. All living things are made of cells. But cells themselves are also made up of special parts. The cell membrane protects the cell and controls what enters and leaves the cell. The cytoplasm forms the body of the cell with dissolved chemicals and stored food. Chemical reactions happen here. The nucleus is a control center. It controls all the cell's activities. Each type of cell is different, but they have these features in common. Plant cells are similar to animal cells. They both have a cell membrane, cytoplasm and a nucleus. But plant cells have other parts too. The cell wall around the cell membrane gives the cell a fixed shape and this supports the plant. The vacuole contains cell sap. In the cytoplasm that are often chloroplasts which contain the green pigment called chlorophyll to absorb light energy from the sun. If you weren't thinking about cells in the shopping centre, you definitely won't be thinking about them on the paintball range. You'll have enough on your mind when the pellets start flying around your ears. Whether you're at work or at play, your cells continue to function muscle cells, nerve cells or blood cells. They are all specially adapted for the job they need to do. Each single cell is usually part of a group. A group of specialized cells all doing the same job are called tissue. This is the same for both plants and animals. A muscle cell is specially adapted. It's long and thin. A group of muscle cells working together form muscle tissue, and this tissue enables movement. The tissue contracts. Each cell is working at the same time to move the sets of muscles which are attached to bones to make it possible for the body to move. A collection of different tissues working together is called an organ. During a physical game like this, the heart beats faster. The heart is a collection of different tissues. Most of the tissues are muscles, which pump the blood around the body. Other tissues make up the special valves, controlling the one-way flow of blood around the heart. Lungs, eyes, stomach, 
and kidneys are all other examples of organs. Plant cells may look different and have different parts, but they are adapted to their jobs and work together just like animal cells do. The root hair cells in plants have a specially adapted structure for collecting as much water as possible. They have a long, thin section on one side that extends into the soil. This gives the cell extra surface area in contact with the soil so it can draw in more water. This plant cell has no chloroplasts as it's underground and doesn't convert sunlight energy into food. Above ground in leaves, palisade cells have these special parts called chloroplasts. Palisade cells are clustered together near the upper surface of the leaf to catch the most sun. As in animals, a group of cells all doing the same job in a plant is called tissue. So, a group of palisade cells is called palisade tissue. A leaf is an organ made up of lots of different tissues working together. As well as the palisade tissue, there's also a leaf vein that transports water and food around the plant. The leaf vein is also made of cells and tissues. All these different leaf tissues work together but have different jobs and as a collection they are called an organ. In plants the stem system, roots and flowers are also organs. Depending on how many bruises you get from paintballing, maybe you'll wish you'd gone instead. When you do, you could look at how in some ways a shopping centre is like a plant or animal. Jeans in a clothing shop are like cells. A whole rack of the same jeans is like tissue. The whole shop with all kinds of different clothes is like an organ. The shopping centre itself is like lots of organs connected together in a system, just like organs are interlinked in animals and plants.